Okay, great. Thank you, everybody, um, for coming. This meeting is called to order this afternoon, Wednesday, January 5th. Present this afternoon, myself, Natasha Yakovlev, and Commissioner Helen Kahn. And as a reminder, this um, meeting is being recorded. Is there anybody here for public comment? Not seeing any public comment, we'll move on to agenda item number three, application for short-term liquor license. I should say first, I'm directly above construction. So if you're hearing banging, it's distracting, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, agenda item number three, application for short-term liquor license, the Academy of Music Incorporated, 274 Main Street, Saturday, January 15th, 2021, 6.30 to 11 for the event, Best of the Valley Voices Story Slam, and there is a requested fee waiver. Is uh, the Academy here this afternoon? So um, I added last minute to your agenda that um, Melissa called about an hour ago and the show is being canceled. So there's no need for a license, so you okay. move on. We'll scratch that. Item number four, application for a new entertainment license for Wild Chestnut Cafe LLC at 22 Chestnut Street in Florence. Proposed entertainment is live music, mostly acoustic, poetry slams, comedy shows, charity events. Proposed schedule, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays um, between the hours of 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? We're doing good. Good. Um, Can you just say your names for the record? Sure, I'm Rosalie Black. And I'm Melissa LaCharity. Nice to see you both. Um, do you wanna let us know what you're up to? Yeah, uh, we had our soft opening uh, last December and it went really well. And we have our grand opening this Saturday. Um, we've decided to just do takeout and curbside due to the climate of everything and we just want to be really safe. Um, so we're applying for this entertainment uh, license for the whole year. Um, so we're starting with takeout so we're probably not going to use it until everything settles down a little bit. Um, but we wrote 11 to 11 just to keep our options open but sure. in retrospect we just want to do little things like charity events, comedy shows like poetry slams, but this is all for when everything settles down. And we also have a piano in the space that we would we like to just be able to use and know that that's kind of covered and we're all set with that as well. Okay. And this would be just for your indoor, your indoor space? Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. Helen, do you have any questions, comments? I, I do not. That sounds straightforward. I hope we get to the point where you can actually use that license. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. But, yeah. I don't have any um, questions. Do you guys have any questions for us about the license? Um, I don't think so. The uh, okay. previous cafe that was here, they had one too. So we just thought, why not? <laughs> Definitely. Okay, great. Um, then I'll make a motion to approve the application for the entertainment license as outlined in agenda item number four. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good luck. Thanks good so luck much. Again. Thank you. Item number five, public hearing on an application for transfer of an annual wine and malt package store license transfer from Pride Stores LLC, transfer to Pride Operating LLC, and this is at 375 King Street. I'll make a motion to open the public hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. Hi. Great. Who do we have to welcome here from Pride? Hi. Uh, I, I'm, I'll be presenting. Uh, I'm Nick Amanti. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I, I represent uh, Pride Operating LLC. Um, so I'll just go, I guess I'll just go ahead and uh, so, you know, thanks for your time today. My name is Nick Amanti. I'm an attorney with Fitzgerald Attorneys at Law in East Longmeadow. I'm here uh, on behalf of the petitioner who's Pride Operating LLC. Um, they are requesting approval of an application uh, to transfer an alcoholic beverages package store license from uh, the current owner, which is Pride Stores LLC, to this new owner who's going to be Pride Operating LLC. Um, so basically, Pride Operating is purchasing the, all of the alcoholic beverage licenses currently held by, by Pride Stores. Um, 
there's going to be no operational changes uh, whatsoever. But the managers are all going to be the same. Um, the license premise is going to be the same. The store employees are going to be the same. Um, all of the individuals you have worked with uh, in the past are going to be the individuals you're working with in the future. Um, Marsha Medina and Jim Channing uh, are both going to, uh, you know, they're both working uh, currently with Pride stores and they're going to be remaining with uh, Pride operating to help uh, continue to oversee the operations. Um, and really, basically, the reason for this transfer is uh, it's in connection with a, a larger asset purchase of, of Pride in general. And it's by this Archlight Energy Partners um, and the petitioner. It was is a subsidiary that was created to just specifically hold and run all of the liquor licenses, all of the uh, convenience stores, all the gas stations as part of this larger uh, asset purchase. Um, so with me today is Stephen Miller. He represents ArcLight uh, in the larger asset purchase. Um, Christine Miller, she works, uh, and I, she's the inside general counsel for, for ArcLight. Uh, Jim Channing, who represents uh, Pride Stores in, you know, in the future, he'll be working with Pride Operating, hope, you know, if, if all goes well with the uh, approval today. And um, I'm not sure if he's got the manager record um, with him today, but she was supposed to be here as yeah. well. Seal's oh, here. She's, she's, she's identified as iPhone, okay. but, but Seal uh, Humphrey is here. Cecile so well. Humphrey is, is here as well to answer any questions you may have. Um, so we've submitted a, a complete application to you. Um, just if you find everything to, in, to be in order, we would respectfully request uh, approval of the application to transfer the alcoholic beverage package store license from Pride Stores LLC to Pride Operating LLC. Okay, thank you. Helen, do you have any questions for um, anybody who's here? I don't, I mean, it sounds like it's very straightforward. Um, there's hardly any changes except for, you know, the, the LLC. So yeah, I don't, I don't have any questions on this. Um, I actually don't have any direct questions for you either. So I'm going to close the public hearing portion of this discussion. I make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. I'm sorry, unless did somebody else want to speak from your group? No? Oh, we're, we're all fine. Thank okay. you. Um, so, um, just for clarification, it's a pack, it's a wine and malt. It's not all alcohol. Okay. Okay. Yep, that's what the agenda, that's what their application, all the paperwork said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Then I'll make a motion to close the public hearing. And second. All in favor, aye. Um, Helen, I have no, um, nothing really to discuss. Everything was completely in order. I agree with that assessment. Yes. Great. Then, um, Annie, we don't need to reopen the public hearing to make the motion, correct? No. Then, um, Helen, do you want to make the motion for this one? Sure. I'll make a motion to, oops, uh, give me one second. Cause well, I'll do it. You don't have it. It's fine. I've got no, it. Work I'll make a motion. I, okay. I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve, um, the application for a transfer of an annual wine and malt package store license from Pride Stores LLC to Pride Operating LLC at 375 King Street. I will second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, for Thank the you day. very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> moving on to number six, public hearing on an application for a new seasonal wine and malt restaurant license for Cafe Balagon at 235 Main Street, Northampton. Proposed manager is Gil Sasson. Do we have anybody here from Cafe Balagon? I don't think we do, do we, Annie? Um... Someone's coming in now. It doesn't look like. Doesn't look like it's them. No. 
I'm really sorry about the banging. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Thought it was inside my head, but <laughs> <laughs> my house. <laughs> um. Okay, well, let's move ahead then to number seven and give them a couple minutes to arrive. Annie, does that make sense? Um. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Then item number seven, new business. Do we have anything new this afternoon? I don't have anything. I just want to thank you guys for agreeing to this special meeting. Um, Helen, you probably don't know why it was for um, Abiza Tapas surrendered their license on Monday because that was the date that we had asked them to surrender it by. And then it just felt silly to make them wait until the February meeting when that's an entire month away. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we didn't really, I didn't really think about that. Um, so, so that's why we're having the special meeting so they can, cause they, they submitted when they surrendered the wine and, or the, when they surrendered their license, he also at the same time submitted a complete application to reapply for the license. So it can be under homestead. Um, so I just I just felt like he's without a license. Um, so that's kind of why that's for the special meeting. And then there's two other common Vic applications that are going to be on the agenda too. Um, that with the holiday and everything, just things got mixed a lot to the shuffle. So yeah. Okay. So thank you. Yeah, sure. I'm glad we can do it. That makes a lot of sense to do yeah. that. Definitely. Um, any sign of them, Annie? Um, it's possible. Is there anybody here from Cafe Balagon? Hi, yes, I just stopped on. We're having some trouble with your eyes. Can you hear me? We heard that. Oh, hi. Sorry. I'm sorry for my tardiness, guys. This is Rachel Workman from Cafe Balagon. Can everyone hear me? Great. We can hear you now. That's perfect. Um, I'm going to reread the agenda item then now that you're here. We're on agenda okay. item number six, the public hearing on application for new seasonal wine and malt restaurant license for Cafe Balagon at 235 Main Street, Northampton, proposed manager Gail Sasson. Um, I'll make a motion to op open the public hearing. Second. All in favor? Hi. Hi. Um, okay, great. Rachel, thank you for coming. Do you want to let us know what you are yes. planning for the cafe? Or hoping to plan for the cafe? Sure. Yeah. So we've just been we've just been wanting to kind of expand the concept and offering over there. Um, so right now the cafe operates until 6 p.m. and now we're going we're 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 going to open a members only lounge um, starting um, at 7 p.m. Um, that just serves like some nice bites and, um, you know, some wine and beer and some live music and just kind of add to, to what's being offered in terms of nightlife downtown. And so are you intending on serving the beer and wine only during the members lounge portion of your day? Or, you know, it's, I, th I think the thought was to make it available during cafe hours as well, even though we don't expect that many will, will take us up on that. Yep. And the members, who who are the members? How does one become a member? <laughs> it's it's whoever wants to. I, okay. It, it's whoever wants to become a, a member. Essentially, can become a member. Um, you know, they'll have monthly dues, and um, and the cafe will be open to them exclusively. And you can pay at the door as well to gain entry if you're not a member. But we're, you know, we're just trying to make it a little bit exclusive. Okay. Got it. Helen, do you have any have a question comment? Um, no, I mean I guess that's not related to wine and malt. I'm just curious about the members only thing. I'm trying to think if there's another um, you know setup like that in Northampton just so I can wrap my brain around it. But I don't I don't know. I don't know if you know Rachel of another. And the, and this is my yeah, no is, there you know. No, there isn't. Um, and the thought behind that, just so you know, is that. Um, 
uh, folks will be, if it's a members only lounge, we're permitted by law to allow folks to consume cannabis products, not smoking, but consume cannabis products on site, on premise. So the members only is, um, is to accommodate for that. Okay. That makes sense to me. Okay. And, um, and I know that, yeah, you're primarily focusing on the cannabis and now you're adding the wine and malt. Is this something that people in your realm or people connected um, with the cafe have done before? Or is this a totally new venture? So Gilly Sasson operated a, a food and beverage spot in, in Manhattan for 10 years and they served wine and beer there. Okay. And will he, do you have a plan for expanding who's TIP certified beyond him? Uh, you know, I think we'll just have everyone you do the exam. You know, there's a few people who work for the cafe as it's currently yeah. Uh, constructed who have expressed an interest who are of age. And so we'll just go ahead and have them take the test and get certified. Get everybody ready. Okay, that's great. Okay. Um, I don't have any further questions for you. Helen, do you have further questions before we discuss? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, I will uh, make a motion to close the public hearing. Second. Okay. Um, just focusing on the wine and malts portion of it and the rest aside, the members only piece aside, um, I think it's a nice option to be able to offer in the cafe to have mm -hmm. um, wine and beer available if folks want it. I've noticed they seem to be increasing their offerings of food. There's more substantial sandwiches and things like that, which are available. Um, so it makes sense to do that. It's no longer just a coffee shop. Um, the, you know, this would be the first, and it's not under our purview, anything to do with the cannabis piece, but this is the first uh, establishment in Northampton that seems to be doing the members only piece to serve cannabis. So that's completely new to me. So we're kind of, I feel like the, our decision with the wine and malt somewhat involves acknowledging that as well. Mm -hmm. it's going yeah. To and just so you know, just so you know, we spoke with um, Mayor Narkowitz about yeah. this and got his sign off. Um, yeah, totally. Yeah. No, it's not a, it's not a judgment thing or anything. It's just, this is all new. Sure. So, sure. Sure. Yeah. Nope. Totally. Um, there, just so you know, we did a little research. There are some folks doing this in the state of Massachusetts, just mm -hmm. not in Western Mass yet. Um, there's some folks in Boston and Worcester who are doing, yep. doing this already. Great. Cool. Right. And I'm just curious, and they're doing the combination of cannabis and wine and malt as well, yeah. or just the members only cannabis? It, they're, they're doing it all. Doing it all. All right. Yeah, no, I, I um, think it's fine. I mean, and yeah, in terms of our purview, I mean, they, um, all the paperwork is in order and we have someone managing it who has a lot of experience. So that's great. And, um, and, you know, I mean, it's just, I mean, Rachel probably recognizes it's sort of a, it's like a test run for, for this area, which is, you totally. know, it's great that uh, people with experience are stepping up to, yes. to do that. So, um, yeah, so I sure, see. Yeah, I think it, it, it's a nice opportunity to kind of see how something like this might go before maybe they intend on uh, rolling out social consumption in the yeah. state. So it's, it should be, it should be cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm all for going forward and uh, proving the wine and malt piece of it. Okay, here great. Today. As am I. Then are we ready for the motion? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then I will make a motion to approve the application for the new seasonal wine and malt restaurant license for Cafe Balagon at 235 Main Street in Northampton. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And Natasha? Yes. And Helen? Yes. Thank you. Uh, just, just one thing. I did hear that you intend to have entertainment. Yeah, we just want to have local artists, uh, you know, some live performances a few nights a week. Okay, um, so you will need an entertainment license for that. Okay. Um, so it's it's a pretty simple form. Um, I, I can send it to um, Adi and Gil, and they can figure it out from there, I guess. Okay, great. Thanks okay. for flagging that. We'll we'll get on it right away. Okay, great. Thank you. Good luck. All right. Thank you, guys. See ya. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Um, so I think that does it. That does it. Did we break any records here today?
This week we are breaking a record for your and my tenure together on license commission. Right. And for 2022, let's not forget. For 2022, yeah. It's a high bar. Oh my goodness, that we've set immediately. <laughs> well, it is very nice when people come with complete applications and thorough presentations. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yep. And it's a short list. Yes. So. <laughs> We'll All see right, if we can make up on with uh, you know for that on the 18th. We, we probably will. <laughs> Sorry, Annie, in advance. Um, okay, then I will make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. Excellent. And Natasha. Yes. And Helen. Yes.